hear all the time about hackers trying to get into your computer or smartphone, but the greatest threat to digital privacy may be from people you know. A recent YouGov analysis shows that about 37% of millennials, so more than a third, read their romantic partner's email, text, and social media at least once a week without permission. And about 25% of adults, 25 to 54, do the same thing. So this is without permission. You're going in there and you're taking a look at things that they're saying to other people, emails that they're sending, who they're messaging with on Facebook, Susan Elizabeth. I was shocked to see that the number was as high as it was. The numbers are high, but I will have to say it's an easy way to bust somebody. I mean, yeah. you used to have to like hire a private eye. <laughs> yeah, but if you feel like you have to sneak into your significant other's phone or every inbox week. every day like that should be your red flag right there like not if a good you sign. think that there is a problem yet yeah, not a good sign where is the level of trust in people's relationships that's the most important thing in a relationship i think so too and I, I was thinking back to okay before cell phones if you wanted to cheat or have an affair to meet someone it's a little bit harder maybe yep. someone at work, work. you have to yep. go to the bar <laughs> it's so easy now just because so many people are reaching out to you on your phone just to start up an innocent conversation that turns into a whole lot more so I, I want to go back to the, the love and the trust, yeah. but you can almost understand in a way why the way that we trust people has changed. Well, and I will, I, I have never done this to a significant other, just throwing that out there, not defending anyone who has. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of understandable to think like, okay, this level of insecurity, that is something that's been around since the dawn of relationships, right? There are people who are insecure in relationships. Does technology just give you more tools to be even more insecure? You know, because there's does. there's all so. these devices now where you oh, can yes. snoop and it's just right there. Yes. It's like the phone's right there. I just want to look at the text messages and, and see what it you is. do. And then, it's you know, breeding insecurity. It is. I mean, yeah. we see the selfie generation. We see how much people just want to feel validated and then they don't if they compare likes to someone yeah. else. So I think this could fall. What do you do that. about this? If you're in a relationship and you're thinking, OK, I, this person is snooping on me. Is there anything that you do besides just break up? I, with them? I mean, honestly, I think what you need to do if you want to stay in the relationship and say, look, you have complete access to all of my stuff for as long as you need. OK. But if that doesn't make you feel more confident yeah. and trustworthy, then the problem's on you. It's not on me. You know, you have to be able to trust the this person in your relationship. more than a third without permission. Oh, without permission? That I feel so lot. bad for those Once people. A week. That's oh, a lot. Oh. Really surprising. Oh, but, oh, good news. The older relationships, 55 and older, this doesn't happen as much. It's like one oh, Good to know. Much lower so percentage. the younger people <laughs> were just insecure and crazy. Yep. yep okay. Basically. <laughs> well, we do have a pretty